Hello and welcome to MBS Show, episode number 320. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Julie the Dragon. Hello, everyone. Hi, Jewel. How are you doing, man? Pretty good, actually. Aside from the fact that I'm a little tired here and there, but I'm good. I know what you mean, man. I know what you mean. I, I, I'm a bit tired, too. I mean, I think I'm coming down with a cough or something like that, and then it's like, uh, my, my throat is so screwed up right now. Honey lemon tea always helps. True, true, but... You know what? I am just going to continue on doing this show because that will keep my mind off the sore throat. And I always got this what you call this medicine called um, the f- the phlegm fort. It's a spray for your throat. What you do is you put it in your mouth and you spray it. Uh, oh, life! <clears throat> but <Nice>. anywho, <laughs> oh wow! Let's head into the pony news. Before Warren. Pony news for this week is slow. Dang slow. So anywho, in the first news, Jules. Yes. You know what happened recently, right? Um, The whole month of Ramadan for the Islamic in faith? Yes, and I, I know about that. Basically, the entire um, followers of the religion has to do this fasting thing from morning to dusk, from dawn to dusk, right? Yes, yes. And a lot of my friends who are Muslims, they follow this... Uh, Time of year, yes, they, they, they follow it. So, um, it recently ended on the 15th, where, uh, well, according to the Islamic calendar, it's switched to Ramadan to Shawal. So, yay, it's basically the next month. Woohoo! So, no more fasting for them, and they can eat like normal. And also, uh, in certain part of the world, especially in Southeast Asia, uh, we have a, what you call this, Big feasts, so people can eat, visit each other's house. It's basically Christmas, kind of, right? I believe it's closer to New Year, but yes, the celebration is the same. Basically, we go to everyone's houses, we eat, we celebrate, and we basically do the whole entire, oh, please forgive me for all my wrongdoings, and I will do my best to be better the following year. Yeah, something like that. And uh, technically, it's not New Year's because... Um, <laughs> Oh, Shawal I'm... is not the start of the month in the Islamic calendar. I I forgot which month is it. I'm not 100% sure. But yes, uh, it's closer. Well, it's similar to Christmas and New oh. Year's mixed to one. I mean, their feeling is there where you want to go visit people. And blah, blah. You know what? We're, we're digressing. We're digressing. The point <laughs> is, <laughs> the point is uh, in Dubai, they are going to celebrate the end of Ramadan with ponies. That is news to me. I know. Like, Actually, that is news to me. I didn't expect them to end the religious uh, fasting period with ponies. I know, right? It's a parade, wasn't it? It's something like that from what I'm reading here on EQD. Um, Dragon Mart over in Dubai will be celebrating the end of Ramadan with a big old pony parade starting on the 24th of June at 5 p.m. A live show will uh, happen with the main six Celestia and three performances. Apparently, it will travel all the way from Dragon Mart 1 to Dragon Mart 2, which is apparently a big route. So, yay! Uh, one of those things where I got no idea what to say because I'm not there. <laughs> you know, it would be nice if we could see it live, but uh, mm, I-, I doubt that would happen. I just hope we get to see it, actually. You know, I want to just see pictures. And in my head, I can already imagine that they're going to go for the um, pony suit thing. You, you remember uh, the pony mascot dancing on stage with the freaky looking suits? One of the suits that uh, in one of the episodes of the show itself where Pinkie Pie made a suit for everybody. Oh, no, no, not that one, not that one. <laughs> no, not that one, man. This is real life. You remember when they do a pony show on stage? Honestly, I've never seen a live show. Good, good. You don't need really that in like your. <laughs> you, you don't need that in your memory. But still, they have the main six and Celestia, so this will be int- this will be interesting. I, I can't wait to see. And ponies talking in Arabic that will be even more interesting to see. Right, that's that's uh, you're right. About, I didn't think about that actually. <laughs> the entire thing will be done in Arabic. Yep. So mm. hey, uh, let's move on to the second news. Actually, one quick question. Mm-hmm. Have you heard of the, uh, just, just off topic since we're talking about other languages, mm-hmm. have you heard the uh, My Little Pony opening theme in Japanese? It's a little freaky for me. Actually. I have. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. I- I'm a bit biased on this one. Oh? Yes. Um, 
way back when in 2011 before um, I was deep in the pony hype train. Uh, mm-hmm. I was into card fight Vanguard and well, quote unquote, kind of, but not really. But still, um, I was a freelance photographer for one of my friend's card game shop. Uh, okay. He asked me to come, quote unquote, work for him or contracted me to take some pictures. And the reason why is that they invited a voice actress for a show. Um, in Japan, uh, I think it was called Milky Homes, something like that. I, I, I can't remember if you guys know Milky Homes. Uh, I can't say I'm familiar with that, so yeah. no, sorry. Long, long story short, it's a Japanese anime, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, okay. I had, I thought they did that with, with Detective Conan already, but never mind. Yeah, no, no. But so anywho, um, they got one of the voice actors down, and uh, her name was Mimori Suzuko. Okay. And yeah, I got to take pictures of her and whatnot of the event. And it was very cool. And I even got her autograph on a card. So yay. Um, okay. The okay. thing is, she sang the intro for the Japanese My Little Pony team. Really? Yeah. Okay. You had a live performance. Oh, that's awesome. That, that was before the pony thing. But yes, she did the... Vo- if I'm not mistaken, she did the voice of Pinkie Pie too. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, I, I was a bit biased then, so um, hearing her... Understandable. Uh-huh. So uh, hearing her um, being ponies and whatnot, like, yeah, I got to meet her before she was Pinkie Pie and stuff, and because she, before she became popular and stuff. So yay! And now it's like, eh, it's, like I said, I'm a bit biased. I'm not a big fan of the Japanese intro, Mirai Start. It's, wow, how do you put it? Usually when it comes to intro music for any show is based on uh, what license property can we use or who are we going to commission to make the intro music. Okay. And in this case, it's basically, okay, we're going to use your music to use it as the intro for ponies and hope we can sell albums with it. It's that kind of situation. I'm not a big fan of the song. It's not that nice. Uh, if you're talking about the Italian version of the pony intro, that one is a good one. Okay, honestly, I haven't heard anything any other than English and and um, Japanese, so I I, I would I wouldn't dare say, I wouldn't have put my two cents in this. Okay, okay I, I think I think we're we yeah we've gone uh, diverged again. <laughs> oh no problem, diverging is the best thing to do because if we have no news, we diverge or we segue. Oh no, segue is getting in. Uh, we're derailing. Yes, that's the word. Oh, derailing. Yes. All right. Uh, but anywho, getting back on track. Okay. Um, I've mentioned this a lot before. Um, I watch a YouTube channel called Linus Tech Tips, and it's a really fun show about tech. You know, um, computer stuff, mobile, and whatever it is to do with tech. And looking at his videos and whatnot is fun. So I subscribe to his YouTube channel, and I also follow the page on the Facebooks. And one day, while I was scrolling down my Facebook feed, mm-hmm. I saw an interesting picture. I mean, usually I won't be really talking about this on the show because what does it have to do with ponies, right? I'm assuming it has something to do with ponies at this time because you brought it up. Yes, totally, <laughs> totally. So uh, this time around, I'm looking at the picture and I'm seeing, oh, oh, stupid Linus, he's doing something silly. Like he's watching in-flight entertainment on a plane that already has a screen. Oh, he's watching it on a tablet. I'm not sure what kind of tablet it is. And looking carefully at the screen, mm-hmm. something pops out. And? So, Jules, can you see what I'm seeing? Yes, I happen to be watch- looking at the picture of Discord. Hmm, from My Little Pony. Yeah. Hmm. So, He's watching My Little Pony as an in-flight video. Yep. That's awesome. I know, so it's one of those things where, <laughs> hmm, <laughs> what are you doing watching that? I mean, there's a lot of things in my head. Are you a fan? Do you like the show? Are you watching it? Just to filter out the things for your kids or something like that. I mean, there's a lot of things going on in my head. All that aside, it's the, the picture shows he's watching My Little Pony as an on the in as part of the in flight uh, video. I'm wondering, aside from what he whether he's watching it because he wants to or not, mm-hmm. I'm surprised they actually have My Little Pony as as part of in flight entertainment. Oh no, that's his own tablet, man. Oh, that's his own tablet. Oh, then I'm I'm mistaken. No problem. But and, but, st- <laughs> but still, it's oh and like Linus here is just cray cray. But still, it's fun. It's really fun to look at this. I mean, there's nothing more beyond that. So um, 
Well, that's the news for this week. Uh, nothing much really to say. I mean, nothing much that I can think of. Yeah, it has actually. You're you're right when you said this in the beginning of the show. It has been a very slow week. It's understandable here over in Malaysia because of the end of Ramadan, so everybody's um, celebrating Idul Fitri. Hmm. True. Okay, if you don't mind, then I might as well ask one little question, seeing that uh, I didn't get a chance to ask you this question on your sh- on the show. All right. A little bit of reminiscing, a little bit of nostalgia. Mm-hmm. How did you feel about the last uh, Sea Pony Con that we got to go to back in th- in Thailand? Oh, wow, that was a while ago. I highly enjoyed it, man. Like, being there, j- j- you know, just traveling there, just traveling, being there with friends... Experiencing another country was fun. Oh, would it be fair to bring up that little uh, tidbit I shared with you a little while ago? Uh, mm, that's kind of rumor mongering right now yeah, because it's not hundred percent sure. But it'd be nice if it did happen. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's... All right, now we'll, 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 I suggest maybe we'll keep this uh, until we are very sure whether it's going to happen or not. Oh, true, totally, totally. I mean, I uh, let's not let's not lead people along. It's not fair. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope it does happen just because it'll be fun for us and yes. more content for stuff, you know, for the funsies. But other than that, I, I got no idea. Like, I really, really hope they manage to do it again. Yes. For all the people who are listening, who think, who, who are wondering, if there's more news, I'm pretty sure Norman will bring it up. Totally, totally. And I might even bring in some people who are responsible for it. Probably. Probably. <laughs> yep. So, you know what? Let's hit into... Well, since this is a slow news week, I'm just going to go for... You know what? Let's go for my favorite topic. Let's keep on track. Um, let's go for the next topic. And said topic is what we, what have we been doing for a week? Uh, how was your week, man? Hmm. How was my week? Well, let's just put it this way. Um, work-wise, I might be getting a promotion. Yeah, maybe. awesome. Maybe. Life-wise, everything has been going rather smoothly. Uh, family's good, friends are good. Oh, and uh, since we're talking about life, uh, my friends and I, we did a escape room today. Oh, it's one of those escape room thingies, like the pony did. Yay. Ah, yes. Um, puzzles, a little bit of climbing, a little bit of uh, going through small little vents. Well, okay, not that small. But yes, um... We were at uh, Sunway Pyramid today, and uh, we decided because some of our friends wanted to try the new. Okay, I'm not, not sure whether it's new, but the escape room. Uh, what was the place called? Something. Cu- uh, honestly, I cannot remember. But it's in Pyramid, same floor as the bowling alley. There is the there are themes where you go into a room. Uh, the one we did was a King Arthur theme. Um, we were supposed to find our way out of the area. And we are supposed to find clues to unlock, lo- uh, do puzzles and locks. Um, and surprisingly, one of the, the requirements is to climb through a trap door underneath the throne. Underneath the throne. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when we went in, it ended up in a, what looks like a dungeon. Uh, we, f- we figured out the clues, we were able to unlock all the locks and climb, climb to freedom. Yay, awesome. We usually are given an hour to do this, and my, fr- my friends and I... With the power of friendship, was able to do it within half an hour. Nice. Did you break any record? And uh, no. A- apparently, the record was fifteen minutes. Wow, that's. We finished in 20, 29. So yeah, it wasn't like the the that episode where they were like two seconds slow or something. <laughs> Damn. And no, we didn't break into song either. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. All right, all right. <laughs> so yes, life has been somewhat. Um, not boring, but usual, except for today. All right, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. What about you, Norman? What have you been up to this week? Well, let's see. This week, I've essentially did nothing much, but I celebrated a Dilfi tree with family and friends. Um, went uh, to go eat and whatnot, and on the recording of this day, which is the 16th, not really. Uh, is my brother's birthday, so I celebrated that today. And oh, really? It's yeah. your birthday? No, mother's. Oh, your mother's. Oh, sorry. I misheard. No problem. Yes. So, anyway, uh, we did... Everybody to your mom, <laughs> Yes, thank you. So, anyway, uh, we did that. 
And that's about it. But uh, what have I been really, really doing is just keeping... Uh, been, I've been sitting down on the PC, in front of the PC, watching at YouTube about YouTubers talking about E3 and looking at the oh, E3 yes, conference. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I haven't actually watched the, 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 the videos of E3, but I have heard a few of, of the upcoming uh, games that they've talked about. Yeah, we, we can talk about that too. I mean, uh, we got nothing much here, so yeah, we can talk about that. Okay, then I shall put, then I shall put in my two, uh, my uh, f- feelings of one game I'm really looking forward to, and that happens to be the Fallout 76. Oh, okay. I am really looking forward to that. Apparently, it's going to be a um, fully online game where you get to go and participate in the in-depth story of a Fallout... Uh, no, sorry, as a Vault dweller from the Vault number 76. I got you, you in my post- sight. <laughs> So yes, you get to you get to go and explore the world. It's very much along the line of Fallout Four, where with the graphics and the build system and all that. Only difference is you get to do it with friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you can have friends to go and explore the world, build up. And here's the thing: apparently, according to I forgot the person's name who, who's part of Bethesda, there are no human NPCs in the world. That means every human you see is a player. That's cool. No bandits. There's no traders. There's no survivors. Nope. Everything. This is 25 years after the bombs drop. So, from what I understand, there are only creatures out there. Uh, death claws, maybe. Uh, radiated creatures. And there was one particular picture I saw uh, a trailer where something looks like a dragon. I, I really, really do not know what that's about, but it looks interesting. And every human that you see in the game is a actual player. So there are no, like I said just now, I'm repeating myself. Mm-hmm. I know Bro. there are no human, there are no NPC human traders. There's no NPC human bandits. None at all. You can be a bandit if you choose to be. Well, it seems like it's a MMO. It is an MMO, yes. But there is an option to turn off PV, uh, PvP, so to avoid grifting. So it's very interesting. I'm looking so, so I'm looking forward to this, especially a few friends of mine. We are going to start up our, our own colony. <laughs> I, I just hope that it doesn't end up being uberly expensive. If not, we have to wait for a summer sale or something. <laughs> oh, well, it's going to be. Um, I, I don't know. It's one of those things where everybody's going to get hyped, so it's going to be a big sixty dollar game. So yeah. Mm, fair enough. Well, who knows? Also, it could have a monthly subscription just to keep the servers up. I don't think they need a monthly subscription to serve it up, but you yeah, know it's a possibility. I'm not going to say no to it. There's there's a possibility. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But on top of that, like uh, Kingdom Hearts three is announced. Oh yes, I haven't seen anything about that, but I have heard that it's coming out. Yeah, yeah, Kingdom Hearts three. Um, it features the world of Disney Pixar and some of the Disney three D shows like uh, Tangled, Frozen. Uh, what I think, what sorry, what I saw. Uh, there's also Wreck It Ralph. Um, I saw the Pirates of the Caribbean yeah, style, yeah, yeah. and the people who play the you know the character model for the pirates, they they look good. They look almost one to one. Oh really? Yeah. And good. what else did I see? Yeah. What else? Frozen. You know what? It's Kingdom Hearts. You you know, oh, Toy Story and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, it's all there. It's all there. Uh. But here's the thing, I've the last Kingdom Hearts game I played was on the PS2 for Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Right. And here's the thing, I, I got no idea what's going on in terms of story. Kingdom Hearts is so confusing. That's true, that's true. I mean, there's one of my friends here, he would say, oh, it's still confusing, you need to play the game in order. And here's the thing, King, if you got no idea, Kingdom Hearts has a bad habit of coming out in multiple consoles it first yes yes that's true it first came out on the ps2 and then in between one and two there's chains of memory which is on the gba and then there's right. two and then there's oh my god you know what just talking about it is making me so confused <laughs> so i watch a video I watched a half an hour video of the whole story of Kingdom Hearts where oh, this I, I think I think I know what you're talking about in that sense. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. There, there there was a video that tried to explain 
um, they try to explain the storyline, which game, which game is in series. If, that means if you want to play the story for a story, oh, no. I'm not talking about the three-hour um, college oh, style. I'm not talking about the three-hour one. Oh, yeah. sorry. I'm not talking about the three-hour college style um, lecture. No, no, no. I'm talking about a half an hour video where the guy just tells the story. I think it's on my Facebook if you notice it somewhere like that I talk about it but yeah um, I'll look for it later that, that sounds a little, a little bit more easy to digest oh, oh my god Here, here's the thing half you, you think half an hour would kind of make everything simplify oh no oh no it's okay it, it's it, 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 the video is done well it explains a lot yet it brings up so many questions of why would they do the story this way? Since when was the story like this? I don't remember any of this. Oh my goodness, why? Oh my head, it hurts. Ow. <laughs> well, I'll take a look at it and try to spin around it later then. Yeah, and you're a Kingdom Hearts fan, right? I am a Kingdom Hearts fan. It's just that um, after the uh, after Kingdom Hearts 2, it got, a little bit for me to, it got a little bit for me to continue with it simply because they were using consoles which I did not have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Although I have to say, I, the, the the next Kingdom Hearts brings in something which I'm quite interested in. Uh, I'm, I'm talking. I'm not talking about the story. I'm talking about the gameplay, mm-hmm. the method of play. Ooh. They actually bring in morphing weapons. Your uh, keyblade can become a melee weapon to a ranged weapon, and back and forth. So that interests me. Yeah, uh, I've, always, I've always wanted. I've always wanted Kingdom Hearts to have a ranged weapon add-on. It, well, if you call it an add-on, mm-hmm, yeah. uh, I've always wanted some way where you can you can bring you can turn your keyblade into a gun or a rifle, mm-hmm. and it never had it. It was only melee magic, melee magic. Now they can it can turn into a two hand pistol. Mm-hmm. I, <laughs> but sadly, I don't have a console for it. Oh, oh well. it's okay. I mean, it's going to be out on the Xbox One and also on the PS4, so that's good uh, option there. I'll be happy, but eh, I can I can only hope. <laughs> yeah, and also at the same time too, right? Um, <sighs> Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Um, story wise, I'm so fed up with it. But gameplay wise, it looks fun. Uh, the switching of weapons on the fly, the morphing mm-hmm. of weapons and whatnot, the graphic style, uh, it, it all looks good. Did Did you see the picture of the of the where Sora turns his, his keyblade into dual yo yos? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I saw that too. I saw that too. Uh, have you ever wondered why Sora can use two keyblades? I'm pretty sure it's explained somewhere, but no, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's explained somewhere in that three hour, uh, probably in that three hour, but this 30 minute video does explain it. Like, oh, he has two hearts himself. Oh, right, right, right. That happened basically when he gave up his heart and he became a heartless. And after that, Kyrie gave up her heart. Oh, so now- no, no, it's not Kyrie's heart. Oh, God. No, you know what? Uh, let's not get into it. That, that's going to be, oh, my God. No, 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 no. Okay, I won't start. I won't start. No, no, because you got it wrong. You got it wrong. And guess what? Kyrie can use a keyblade. Yeah, and uh, Kyrie can use a keyblade, yes. Ah, uh, my head. Really? Wait, hold on. It wasn't Kyrie who gave up her heart for, for Sora, was it? Uh, no, uh, you know what? We can talk about it after the show. Because you know what? I'll go and watch the damn yeah, thing. Yeah. My <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh. Besides that. Besides that. Devil May Cry Five. Hmm. Okay. Sadly, I'm not a Devil May Cry what fan. No, man. No, I, I'm not. I am. I am. It's like, oh my god, Devil May Cry Five. Look at Nero. Oh, he is so. Oh, wow. That's so cool. And here's the thing. Uh, DMC Five is running on the RE Seven engine. Is it? Yes. Oh. So that's cool. Okay. Graphic wise, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Graphic wise, that's very cool. Yeah. yeah. And um, the faces on the characters are modeled on the actors' real faces. Oh, tweak a bit to make it a mix between the old and the new, something like that. So I mean, I haven't I haven't gone into the Devil May Cry Five to to look at it. So I'm afraid you're more you're you got an advantage on me in that sense. It's okay, man. It's okay. Um, but still, I highly I I am I can't wait. Like it's. It's one of the games that I'm hyped for. It's one of the games that I'm hyped for. Uh, okay. hyped for. Um, talking about RE, right? Um, RE2 Remake. Oh, the RE... Uh, no, I haven't seen RE2. I saw, I saw the RE... The Resident Evil 2 Remake. I mean, that is actually very well yeah, done. Yeah, that, that's what I say. Uh, RE2 Remake. Like, uh, Resident Evil oh, 2 Remake. I heard, I, heard, I heard you say RE3. Oh, no, 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 no. This is okay. two. This is two. Like, that is also running on the RE7 engine. 
Yeah, it's actually um a lot more terrifying. I have I, I I'll admit that it's scary. Yeah, and from what I heard of people who had hands on on the game, they say that it took about five shots to take down a normal zombie. Okay, now that's a bit overkill. It's that I hope they give you ammo then. Oh no, ammo is kind of a valuable resource. Like I'm guessing that okay, um you're gonna get ammo. Like how do I put this? There's enough ammo to kill a zombie. Like, there's enough. If you overuse it, then it's your fault. Oh dear, no, I, I'm not I'm not too keen on that then. That's from what I heard. Probably the game set on normal or something like that, or maybe hard. But still, um, for whoever who has not really played and finished RE yet, this is something really exciting to check out because the game looks gorgeous, man. Like, the weight, I, I think what, this was announced two years ago at E3, where they say, we do it. Okay. Yep, and they did it. Well, they did. They said they were going to, to do it. Yep, they did it. Oh, um, talking about doing it, you're a big D&D guy, right? Yes, I am. Um, have you played Cyberpunk? Uh, you're asking me uh, that kind of question, I, I'll answer you this like this, do fish swim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... <laughs> Yes, the answer is yes. I have I I dabble in quite a few RPG styles and gameplay. So, uh, what what is your what is the what is the point of this? Okay. Um, at the Bethesda show or the Bethesda what do you call it? Um, show something like that. I don't remember the conference. Yes, the Bethesda conference. Okay. They recently announced Cyberpunk seventy seven. Sorry, um, two thousand seventy seven. Yes, yes. I I actually am looking forward to that as well. Yeah, and. Oof, the way that they ended this... Sorry, it was not at the Bethesda. It was at the Xbox or the Microsoft uh, conference where they ended the con with this. With uh, Cyberpunk 2077, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, again, I'm sorry, but I don't understand your question. No, because I'm just announcing it. Like uh, Cyberpunk 70s, uh, 2077 is coming out or is announced to be coming yeah. out. I, I've seen the trailer and I, I must say I am interested in it. Um, I can't, like I said, I can't remember everything that that I'm interested in coming up from from E3. But uh, Cyberpunk 2077 and Fallout are well, the two that I'm looking forward to, and it so happened they're both from the same company. So yes, <laughs> I am interested in that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I also was watching the the suppose uh, where Skyrim's gonna go next. Oh yeah, but they haven't done anything. Um. They just announced a game. Like, okay, we're doing Skyrim. No, not Skyrim. Uh, we're doing Elder Scrolls Elder Six. Scrolls, Elder Scrolls, sorry. Elder Scrolls the series. They're gonna push the next one. Yeah. Uh, honestly, no, not not the not a big fan on that. But like I said, the the, the two, the Cyberpunk and F- Fallout. I am really looking forward to these two. Mainly these two. Yeah. Oh, but did you know that you can play Skyrim on your Google Alexa? Oh. Okay, no, I didn't know that. Again, uh, uh, the Elder Scrolls series isn't one of my... You see, the thing is, Elder Scrolls is very uh, melee magic. Uh, so it's not the the gameplay that I enjoy. I mean, personally, personally, of course, mm-hmm. I prefer games which are more steampunk, cyberpunk, modern, future. Oh, okay. Not so, much, not so much fantasy. Oh, but you should check out the... Um trailer for well it's not really a trailer but it's yeah, kind of a trailer uh, trailer for Alexa um, Skyrim on Google Alexa and they also oh, announced that I'll take a note on that yes yeah. I'll take a note on that yeah. they also announced that Skyrim is playable on all everything almost everything like they were on the PS3 P, uh, Xbox 360 uh, PS4 PS um, Xbox One uh, N- Nintendo Switch uh, the PC, Nintendo yeah, Nintendo wow. Skyrim's on the Nintendo Switch, uh, PC, and uh, now what they announced is Google Alexa, and soon to come in the future, you can play Skyrim on your Samsung Smart Refrigerator. Oh, that video. <laughs> yeah, that video. Right, right, right. <laughs> With the voice activation and all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I remember. I remember that was that was just too funny. Yeah, that was so good. They they making fun of themselves. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, but that's good. That's good. But other than that, like um, I I am hyped. Like uh, my two games that I am excited for. Well, technically one is um well two Resident Evil two remake and also Devil May Cry five. Those two games I cannot wait. 
good choices on that end. Uh, mine, like I said earlier, mine will be Fallout and Cyberpunk 2077. These are my two that I'm looking forward to. Nice. Those, those are good <laughs> games. Those are good games. And other than that, um, I think that's about it because um, nothing much really in terms of what we have. Mm, nah, I'm afraid I can't. Bring, I can't think of anything else right at this moment. Yeah, oh, but still, it's a lot of fun. Like, um, honestly, I can't wait to play some of the games. Oh, um, on a side note, during E3 mm-hmm. at the Capcom Street Fighter Five booth, six wrestlers were there to play a fighting game, Street Fighter Five. Set wrestlers are the New Days versus the Elites from New Japan Pro Wrestling. So, um, are you a big wrestling guy? No, sadly, I'm not. Uh, right. Just <laughs> I'm not. just to summarize it, um, the New Days are from WWE, WWE and okay. the Elites are from Japan, uh, NJPW. Uh, these two are rival in terms of, what you call this, wrestling companies. They don't mix, but they're there to settle a score between... Um, Kenny Omega and Xavier Woods, and they're using Street Fighter Five for that. Yes, wow! And it started out as a three-on-three three kind of match, okay. First to two wins in team match, and yeah, it was it was fun. It was fun, and um, New Day's won. But okay, the one of the guy from Japan, uh, Kenny Omega, he was not satisfied with the result because. Um, the New Days kind of quote-unquote cheated. So, Xavier Woods from WWE says, oh, uh-huh. alright, uh, let's do this one-on-one then. Uh, loser has to give something away and I like to collect belts, so give me your belt. Ooh. And Kenny Omega says like, yeah, sure, but you guys don't have a belt, so that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. there, there was a lot of mud slinging and stuff, so <laughs> yeah, it was fun. So um, what ended up Ouch. what ended up being is a hot pepper eating uh, contest kind of deal. Hmm. Big muscular people who are in the wrestling ring on the, now eat hot peppers, and I'm pretty sure it was a. Oh wait, okay, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try, I wouldn't try and take a guess here, but was it a cry fest? Let's just say that um, you know what I'm not gonna say anything. Let's not gonna say anything because. It was an entertaining. It was an entertaining video, and the funny, t- the funny thing is, I watched it live. They they stream it live on Facebook, and I somehow, t- while trying to sleep, I scrolled down and saw, hey, this is going on live. I want to watch this, so let's watch it live. <laughs> you watch them eating hot peppers live, okay? Let's just say that I watched the whole thing live. So anywho, um, it's out there on Capcom's, uh, Facebook page and probably YouTube. So. Go check it out. It's really, really fun. So, um, with that, uh, is there anything else? Like, mm, nothing else I can bring up at the moment. Try as I might. It is kind of late, so no. Yeah, yeah. Great. Pro- probably, uh, what you call this? Uh, Overwatch? Yeah, we played Overwatch. Well, I, at least I played Overwatch. I haven't played Overwatch in a while. I'm actually stuck with another game which I'm actually having fun with. It's, a, it's the Warhammer Fantasy series Vermitide 2. Ah, all right. Very, very stuck with that, and I'm enjoying the game a lot. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's a good game. It's a good game. But anywho, let's head on to the, well, end. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbsrogmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. My personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Jules, where can the good people find you? Ooh, honestly, I am not really online these days. Um, but tell you what, uh, if I ever start up again, I used to have a, uh, oh, see, I can't even remember what's it called anymore. The film fiction, mm-hmm. I used to write there. Mm-hmm. Maybe my, some of my stuff it might still be there. I, it I is, it is. Mm, I wonder if anyone still remembers it. I think there's a fan that, okay, so, you had a fan that follow, right? I had somebody following, yes, but I don't know what happened. No, the point is, uh, I used to write for film fiction. It, I am, my call sign is Jewel, Jewel Eater Dragon. Um, but other than that, I'm not as active as I used to. But tell you what, Norman, mm-hmm. if I ever start out with anything again, I will inform you, and maybe the next time I'm on on your show, I will inform the inform the the, the fans as well. Alrighty then, alrighty then. 
So anywho, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and switch radio. And also please like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyWithLive.com. Also do subscribe to our other show, the MB Show Review and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you catch me, Civil Quill, Sapphire so Heart Song, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and also, and also movies. And sometimes we like to talk about, well, other shows like DuckTales or Batman. And one of my favorite things to do is talk about The Miraculous Ladybug. That is a fun show, especially when Silver Quill goes nuts over it. Not Gaga, but he just go crazy, like asking why does this happen and whatnot. It's fun. It's it's entertaining. Cool. Uh, speaking about uh, shows, mm-hmm. just want to bring up. Uh, don't forget that uh, in August, the upcoming DC movie, uh, the Death of Superman. What? Yes, DC. You do you do know DC has movies, right? Yeah. Like this contract and all that. The movie The Death of Superman from the comic books is coming out in August. This year? This year. How come I haven't heard anything? I have no idea. <laughs> like, this is news to me. Oh, really? Well, that's good then. There's new. There's something new. The, the, but yes, go and check it out. From what I understand, the movie The Death of Superman is supposed to come out in, uh, somewhere in August. I, I do not know the exact date. Are you sure it's not animated or whatnot? No, no, no. It's the, it's the animated movie. Oh, animated movie. Animated movie. Like I like I like I said, the Teen Titans Judas Contract, mm-hmm. the latest movie from uh from DC, the Suicide Squad's uh Hell to Pay. Yeah, I've seen that. That was good. And a few others are basically. So basically the same group is making another movie and according to to sources, they are being very or they're trying to be very uh they're trying to honor the the, the comics where of the death of Superman. So it's going to be a doozy. All right. Is the DVD going to come out with a black paper bag commemorating the death of Superman? I'm not sure. Uh, this is the only information I have is it's coming out in August. <laughs> you, you remember the um, comic when it first came out? It was wrapped in a black plastic bag. It was all... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was the yeah. one? Was one? <laughs> this part of the world, did it? Because nah. I never saw the comic. In that sense, I saw a lot of it online, but not here. Yeah, I don't think so. But yeah, uh, prepare to dump that stuff away because a few months later, Superman lives. Yay! Um, I wonder how they're going to pull that out. Trust me, and he's going to live. Using, they're using, the, they're using the, the new, the new gritty DC universe anyway. So it's going to be. I expect it to be bloody. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm um, talking about movies, right? Um, the Teen Titan Go movie. Are you interested in going watch? Sorry, are no, you interested in watching it? Sorry, I do. I cannot stand the Teen Titan Go series to begin with. I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> I might just because. Okay. Um, I have this morbid curiosity of going to watch it just because I have content for the what you gonna call this podcast later in the year where I do the things I watch for movies and stuff. Okay. Well, good. I, I'm not going to say anything, but... Uh, you know what? Oh, maybe maybe I'll come down to your neck of the woods and invite you on. Hey, let's go watch this no, movie. No. No. I'll pay for it and stuff. Oh. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it'll be fun. We, we can watch the movie together, have popcorn, and enjoy Teen Titans Go! the movie. Yay! I am so, I am so going to be cringing the entire show. <laughs> I can't. I can't even watch a twenty-minute show uh, on the series. You want me to stick for a whole movie? I'm gonna. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah. Ah, boys. So anywho, um, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, i like to thank Lurker Cat, Starstream, Myself Lag, Amy, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys, for your awesome support. You have been awesome towards me. Thank you. So, anywho... I have been Roman Sanzo. And this is Julie the Dragon. And we'll guys catch you next week with another episode of this show. See ya. Take care everybody. Bye bye.